On today's show, we got royalty. That being said, I got a special poem for you today. I call The Throne. <laughs> Excuse me. I got a ticket to see the royal palace? <laughs> what you mean I can't go to the palace? <laughs> Why? Is it cause I'm an American? <laughs> or is it cause I'm a brown American? <laughs> You can't even move, can you? You can't even move, can you? You can't even get your hands on me. Get your hands on me. Get your get your get your hands. Get your get your hands. Ah, ah. I hate concussions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> All right, players, let's start pimping. Yeah, while the pimping, we're gonna take a small break and we'll be back after this. Don't go away. Ladies! Pimp us up, pimp us up, oh, pimp us up, pimp us up, oh. All right, we're back and we're all pimped out. You ready to bring them out, fellas? Yeah, let's, let's bring them out. Prince! Woo! your new pimped out. Ready, fellas? Show me. Yeah. 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 Man, Mo, tell us what you did, player. Oh, do it. Yo, first off, I hooked up the original pimp with the electronic tag pressure, son. Don't get pushed by the recycle center. Thanks, you crazy guys. 
you. I could get like three cents for this, man. Oh. We'd also like to thank Project Car Alarm for hooking us up with the yeah. breaking pimp alarm with voice activation. What's wrong with you, fool? Get away from my shopping cart before I pop a cap in your ass. Oh, <laughs> I didn't stop there, yo. Check this out. Also, we installed some Porsche hydrogen engines, right? Donated to us by Porsche Johnson over on 132nd Street. Thanks, yeah. Porsche! Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, B-Swish, tell us how you right. play it. Let me tell you what I did. Yeah. The first thing I did was I painted this thing jet black. Ooh. Okay. So it is undetectable by the man at night. Yeah. I gotta pull out air cut. <gasps> Check it out. Woo! That's how I roll some. Check. Son, I ain't done. Check it out. The girl is not included. Sorry. <laughs> I also got a trash bag dispenser. Bam! Portable toilet bowl. Bam! Oh, oh, toilet paper. Bam. Oh, for that time when a leaf is just too hard. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> and also the no you didn't special. Oh! Yeah. Check it out, son. A GPS system. This thing will find any homeless shelter within a 10-mile radius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's not it. Check it out. Right over here, we got the plasma TV. Bam! We got the two subwoofers. Bam! And then we also got the DVD player. Bam! So you can watch your favorite DVDs. Oh! I know you did. Special player. Yeah. All right, Prince Willie. Yeah. There you go. You use shopping cart. How you feeling? Oh, man. You are made a drunk homeless man very happy. You are the true, true princess of pet, man. I couldn't ask you for anything more except for maybe a couple of dollars. Man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, Prince Willie, do us a favor and yeah. take us out. All right, players get played, but pimps get paid. Yeah! <laughs> Miss Leon will be here shortly. She's out taking a dump. <laughs> I am Mr. Leon. I was waxing, thank you very much. Oh! oh. oh. Coño, what was that for? That was for the piece of paper I found in your pants with the name Sapphire Star on it. Ooh. Estupida. Last week when I went to the races, Sapphire Star was the horse I bet on. Carajo. What was that for you, Lush? Your horse just called. <laughs> Hola, and welcome me, Hente. I am Mrs. Leon. And I am Mr. Leon. And live from Miami, this is Comida, Comida and a Movie. <laughs> Bitch. Tonight, we will be reviewing Star Wars. Or, as Mr. Leon prefers, Star Wars. In honor of Yoda, the most popular lizard in the history of movies, we will be preparing a Caribbean delicacy, iguana con arroz. I thought you were the most popular lizard in history. First, you must prepare the iguana. Any exotic meat dish must be marinated to maintain its succulent juices. And to maintain my succulent juices, I marinate myself. Yeah. 
while Courtney Love Jr. marinates. How about a scene from Star Wars? Come on. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. You're my only hope. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi, can you say your freaking lines? R2D2 doesn't have any freaking lines. He just whistles and blows. Something you stopped doing a long time ago. Just like your wife, you can't be head or wring its neck. It leaves fingerprints and bruises. You gotta smother it softly, like the Indian guy did to Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. You're free. Now that we've finished, can we get back to the movie? No, first I'm gonna grind this little f***er. I'll grind it. <laughs> now let's get back to the movie. people love Star Wars. It was a struggle between good and evil. I hated it. What kind of review was that? I hated it. Why did you hate it? Because you loved it. <laughs> oh, oh. Give me the phone. No. Give, give me, me the phone. No, give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. seems sad. <laughs> Did you see the look in his eyes before I beat them shut? <sighs> Wonder if he's having problems at home. It may stem from his childhood, you know? Yeah, don't worry about that kid. Don't worry about him. This could be a prime case of displacement, Manny. 
I don't know. Maybe his mom left him alone at the park or something, and he's taking it out on me. <sighs> you know what? The next time we lock up, I'm going to hold him a little extra so he knows that I care. You know? <laughs> and the next time he's lying face down on the canvas, shaking, I'm going to snuggle up next to him just for a moment <laughs> and tell him it's not your fault. <laughs> Hey, listen, Manny, last round, I was thinking about the argument you had with your wife. <laughs> and I have to say, you need to work on your communication skills, yeah, my yeah, friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, Janine is a delicate flower, and she needs to be nurtured. <sighs> and you need to unwind, OK? You know what? Tomorrow, I'll take you to the spa. <laughs> Sounds good? Yeah. Ah, but right now, I'm going to show this guy the love his mother never gave him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Then, I'm gonna break his freaking jaw. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to find another job. Pero why? I don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it. I lost my job today. Julio, no! Lupita, see! Si. He's hungry! How are we going to pay the rent? How are we going to feed Papito? Figure something out! trying to pass as Puerto Ricans in New York. <laughs> what will I do? I mean, I've done it all. There's gotta be something. Something. I saw the oranges <laughs> in the subways. I sold bouquets of flowers too. I've pushed the hot dog carts along Broadway. <laughs> Border. We have no place to stay. Lupita said it's okay for us to stay with you. Lupita, what's going on? They had nowhere to go. Please, Senor Julio, we promise to work very, very hard. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Lupita, are you expecting more cousins? Not today. Open up. We'd like to ask you some questions. 
<laughs> Questions? All right, remember, we're Puerto Ricans. Uh, we love Roberto Clemente, arroz con pollo, and June 5th is the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Okay. <laughs> Who is it? Immigration! <gasps> Immigration! <laughs> they got us! They got us! Our time is really up. We run! We hide! Everyone just shut up! Our days are numbered! Our days are numbered! <laughs> what? Exactly. We don't tolerate that. Free thinking. <laughs>